In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the four-story coupling shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of plate, coupling beam, top RBS beam, middle RBS beam, exterior column and interior column. Here the shear wall is exposed to a cyclic loading and following that its hysteresis diagram is drawn. In this picture the hysteresis diagram obtained uh, from the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. In these pictures the formation of the shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading can be clearly observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in Alcas software. The article is entitled Hysteretic Behavior of coupled steel plate shear walls. In this picture, you can observe the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall as well. Enter geometric shape of plate into the assembly section. Then enter geometric shape of middle beam into the assembly section. Then I will click on rotate instance. Select plate. Done. First, select this point, then this one. Enter the angle of rotation equal to 90 degrees and OK. I will click on Translate Instance. Select Plate. Done. First, select this point, then this one and OK. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of top beam into the assembly section and transfer that uh, to the top of the model. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of the external column into the assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about X axis. Click on Create Arc and draw a semicircle like this. I will enter the distance between these two points equal to 250 millimeters. Enter the distance between these two points equal to 150 millimeters. And these two points equal to 40 millimeters.
In the next step, I'll click on Mira. First, click on Copy. Then select this line as the line of symmetry. Then select this semicircle and done. In the next step, I will click on Create Construction, draw a horizontal line, click on Mirror again, then on Copy, select this horizontal line, then uh, these two semicircles, and done. In the next step, I will complete these semicircles. Click on Done and OK. As you observe, the beams were all converted into RBS beams. done and close all the boundary conditions here you can observe different modes of the buckle
In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to, dra to draw this diagram. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History, Output, and Continue. I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As, and then sum all reaction forces up together. I will click on create XY data again, then operate on XY data, continue. Here I'll select displacement, multiply that by 100, then divide that by 16,000, and this 16,000 is actually the height of shear wall. I will click on Combine, first select Drift, then Total Force, and click on Save As. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software the first column is drift the second column is force the unit of which is newton The diagram having been drawn in red is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to the experimental results, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.